What is going on, everyone? We are getting into it. We've got winner semis of Duelist Grounds Champion Championship Series Juno. Uh, winner semis Jazz versus Tango. Uh, two solid go players. Jazz obviously needs no introduction, and Tango certainly a solid player in his own right. Um, they're gonna be going at it here. Where we got here just for the beginning of, just in time for the beginning of round of game one. I'm gonna update the stream overlay real quick. Jazz firing with kind of an early pot of greed. Not really. Uh, been a few turns by now. Tango with a serpent engraved from a failed uh, Thousand Eyes attempt. And Tango already dipping pretty low at 2300 life. Um, Which n normally wouldn't be a cause for concern, but he's also down on cards, so he is he is going to need to be careful uh, from here on out. So I believe Tango is on um, Chaos Control or Angel Chaos. Um, Jazz on Go Control, of course. Um, he said he considered playing Pac-Man, but. Um, decided against it, decided he wanted to test out Go Control in the, I guess, Chaos Heavy metagame. And he's doing pretty well so far. He had a quick 2-0 over Marcus in Winners Round 1, and he's here now in Winners Semis against Tango. Um, using what I would call a pretty aggressive Book of Moon. Um, Oh, okay. Yeah, that's really cool. So Jazz getting super rewarded here for um, baiting a Thousand Eyes. I mean, I guess because he's the first one so early, right? Even with a knock. Might as well just set something like a Sangin. Um, and then he ends up piecing together his charity uh, serpent combo with a book on that Thousand Eyes. Gets a break or two. God, so much value here. See what else he's got for this turn. Thousand Eyes is definitely dying, but he might. He, he's got a Chaos Monster. He's just gonna win on the spot here. All right, he's gonna push for damage. Um, Tango's ring is gone, but Jazz's is not, uh, meaning he will be able to close this game out with a Ring of Destruction, assuming Tango doesn't have uh, one of. What I assume would be three Book of Moons. Uh, yeah, knock on Thousand Eyes, that will be banished indeed. Tango is 700. Um, if Jazz does have, to have the ring, though, he is, he is going to need to hold it, um, firing it off willy-nilly in the standby here. Uh, we'll open him up pretty solidly to uh, Book of Moon on Tanko's part. And he's not that that far ahead in cards anymore since he decided to Nobleman the Thousand Eyes, so he does have to be careful of things like that. So he'll chain it to uh, the Heavy Storm. Um... Tango apparently not uh, not having the book, and Jazz is going to take game one there. I 
Oh, right, okay, so the ring, uh, he got off a merchant. I think I missed that part. And Jazz will go, Jazz will go up one game. Here in winter semis. Now going to the side deck, um, it's it wasn't clear to me. I don't. It didn't seem like a Jazz was seeing any recruiters, um, angels, tomatoes, things like that. Um, but he is trying out a new side strategy against Angel Chaos, uh, which may which may come into play later in this match. Um, he did mention to me that he is he is currently siding out uh, DD Warrior Lady and two Dust Tornadoes to bring in a uh, third book and two Dark Mimic, uh, which is pretty interesting to say the least. Um, and evidently, it, it worked it worked out for him in his uh, winners round one against Marcus, who was also on Angel Chaos. Kind of chaos heavy bracket for Jazz so far. So Jazz, uh, one day away from day two. This would be his second, I believe, uh, DCS top. Um, his first being Orlando, um, the perfect circle format uh, DCS from 2015, which he in fact won. Ring of Destruction on a Blade Knight there. Uh, if I had to guess, it might be one of those merchants, or it might be one of those mimics that he may have boarded in, we'll see. Uh, it seems like Tango uh, opted in game two to side in a more aggress uh, his aggressive uh, warrior package. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good morphing jar. Wow. going to take Tango a while. <laughs> Um, to process that, I think. But um, I mean, y'all saw that. I thought it was, I thought it was a merchant. Uh, so <laughs> Jazz played the shit out of me too. Um, good shit to him. <laughs> yeah, sometimes sometimes that's how those games go. Interesting that uh, Tango just uh, opted not to set before attacking with a blade knight. Um, in retrospect. Tinko firing back with a heavy storm. Probably one of the better cards for him to draw off, the, uh, draw off his six. Um, on his new six, I mean. He'll have a chance to even this up right now. Um, at least in terms of card advantage. Jazz isn't sure whether to book. Um, it is hard to say, right? I mean, like, you got six cards in the graveyard worth of information on what he could have. Um, the standard Angel Chaos list is, of course, 19 monsters, so technically you could argue they've got more spells and traps than monsters. But it looks like Tango had the Ring of Destruction anyways. Um, Surprised Jazz chose not to book in response to the ring on Morphing Jar now. Ooh, Tango's going aggressive now. So it's two backer behind BLS. Um, Hopefully for Tango, one of those is a Book of Moon, Dust Tornado, or a Mystical Space Typhoon. Uh, because, ooh, and we're about to see. 
One of them is a scapegoat. Doesn't look like the, the other one will be a Book of Moon. He is now open to Snatch Steel. Um, let's see what Jess has in his five. Fortunately for Tango, he doesn't have to worry about a Chaos Monster of Jazz's own. But there's still a host of things he's open to right now. He opts just to set two and pass. Okay. Not, not every day you get the uh, Heavy Storm 2 back row, uh, then you just set two and pass, but mine is, if he needs to use those, right? Might as well fire off the heavy before you have to set him. Sucker, it's going to be LS. Uh, decent. Jazz has an Azura Priest. Interesting. He's going to clear four goat tokens and then uh, poke at the set monster. Uh, it's a Decoichi, which will draw Tango a card. Uh, important for him to not fall too behind in cards right now. Especially with, with an Azura Priest getting in his face or threatening to do so next turn. Um, Jazz ends with two sets. Obviously, he has no fear of uh, an opposing Heavy Storm. Um, and doesn't seem to need, have any reason to fear any heavy storms at all, uh, given that both of them are in the grave. Uh, Tangle will discard an Air Knight Parshath. Um, interesting choice in a chaos based deck. Um, not completely unheard of, though, obviously. There are, there are plenty of upsides to playing a true, uh, playing a true tribute monster. Um, it's just, they're just upsides that um, chaos players usually opt not to, not to take. Um, ooh. Alright. Um, good read on Jazz's part. Uh, notices two, two, um, notices a Merchant Banished and a Mimic Engrave. Along with a Dekoichi. So the odds of Faith are getting pretty high. Um, he'll get his second search for Serpent, and again, uh, second game in a row, he will... Graceful Charity, Discarding Serpent, also decides to throw away his Azura Priest. Seems a little interesting to me. Um, so that, was, that was his chance to uh, keep Tango on the clock, it looks like. Oh, uh, well, okay, well, he might have another normal summon. Tango with a naked tribe infecting virus. Uh, looks like he, uh, Tango's gonna see if he can win, win through life. Um, just kind of going aggro in this uh, in this kind of open mid game here. Jazz firing off his first metamorphosis of the game, I believe. Uh, that one got heavy. I want to say. Yeah, because he hasn't summoned any other Thousand Eyes. Um, Thousand Eyes is going to take that tribe. Um, Tango kind of getting punished there. Uh, summon tribe to poke for damage without hitting over a monster. Doesn't have an out to Thousand Eyes. Uh, so he's likely going to take 1600 damage back, or very oh, either that or he's Sakuret, so he's going to lose another card. Jazz Ops not to attack. Uh, also pretty interesting. Tango just sets one and passes. Um, Torrential still is on the uh, on the table for uh, Tango. He can uh -huh. he can punish the Sukiyomi here. Looks like Jazz won't give him the chance. He's gonna flip a set Nobleman a cross out. Sangen. And Jazz forces a mirror force with Thousand Eyes Restrict. That is pretty big. Um, Jazz kind of getting a crippling lead in cards now. Um, we'll see if Tango can pull something out. He 
does it does have two Nelvin of his own left in deck. Um, we'll see if he decides to fire it off. Interesting, so uh, Tango, uh, Tango summoning his second Chaos Sorcerer in deck. So that's two Chaos Sorcerers, one Air Knight he's playing, uh, along with BLS, of course. Presence of Air Knight makes it likely that he will have Premature and Call the Haunted uh, to target his Air Knight and, and or BLS later in the game. Um, but outside of that, Chaos Sorcerer seems like it's going to be the last big thing threat left in Tango's deck. Um, Jazz with kind of a timely pot agreed there, but also kind of a redundant one. Tango still not having used Booker MST this game, so yeah, he's certainly going to have the out there in his top 23. Swing and a miss for Jazz, and he goes back to setting. Uh, and obviously, he's just going to go all in on board now. Um, I think this happened earlier in uh, Tango's last match, too. Uh, he sided, sides down to one faith, uh, which is kind of interesting. Metamorphosis on Sorcerer. What is he. Ryusenshi? Okay. Alright. I feel like he likely just hit Serpent here. Yeah. Ooh! That is a big du duo if ever I saw one. Jai's getting punished for setting there, for sure. Oh, he had the perfect two cards for Ryu Senshi, too. Suka knock. Tango definitely happy to, let, to see those hit Jazz's grave. Uh, that's, that'll also be his second Nobleman to cross out of the game, so he is, so that will be off the table for him as well, unless he flips a Magician of Faith, which he could have set right now. We'll see. Uh, Tango ripping a Nobleman to cross out off the top. No player courtesy. First of the game. 25th from the top at the beginning. And it is a Dark Mimic, level 1, so Jazz did use this side plan, he boarded in 2. Um, Tango going in for 2,000. Jazz obviously going to have the goat here, but with one Metamorphosis in deck it's going to be hard, hard to find an answer. Especially because he's still got two more books to fight. Three more books to fight through at max. And certainly at least one. Jazz still opting to set here. Jazz finally getting to an answer in Tribe Infecting Virus. We'll see if it goes through. It does. 
Tango gonna have a goat. We'll see if Jazz opts to just take the trade right there, discard a card, and wipe oh, wipe him. Uh, while Jazz has two Metamorphosis and Grave, Tango has three. So he's certainly not gonna make a thousand eyes anytime soon. Yeah, okay, and Jazz is gonna make the correct option and or take the correct option and um, opt to just leave Tango with four. Just in case he's got his last two here. Or something to make a two card kill combo on board. Zer Priest, although with four backer on Jazz's side, it's not looking likely it'll go through. Jazz has at least one one book one book of moon and uh, one Saku. Yeah, he flips a second Saku. Um, pretty standard there. Is this going to be it? I don't think it's your turn, Jazz. It is going to be Book, which is pretty useless here. Is this going to be enough though? This is 35. Is Jazz going to have a Call of the Haunted? That is still on the table. Ring of Destruction, however, is not, and Jazz will just pass, giving Tango one card. And he misses. I don't know what his out there was. I guess premature for. No. Yeah. He probably didn't have. Taking that com pretty convincingly in a 2-0, um, showing off his third book. I think that was part of his side plan. And so yeah, Jazz just earned his place in top three. Uh, this is his second second Duels Grounds Championship Series top uh, uh, top finish, top cut finish. And Jazz is done for the day. Uh, we'll be seeing him tomorrow in Winners Finals. Hopefully all the way to Grands. Um, good shit to Tango as well. Certainly had a hard bracket here today. Uh, Lolly into Jazz. Now he'll drop to Losers waiting on the uh, on um, a few matches. Keep checking back, y'all. We'll have more matches coming to you soon.